It's time for some TLC. That's right, your computer needs some tender love and care from time to time. And every time we build a new PC, at some point we need to make sure that we maintain it so that the hardware we've spent all our money on performs at its peak and lasts just that little bit longer. Hey there, I'm Jono from Thermaltake Australia and today I'm going to give you five easy maintenance tips that you can use to get the most out of your hardware. Check those dust filters. One of the first things you should do is check out your dust filters. Dust filters are your first and sometimes your only line of defense against the legion of dust bunnies. You may or may not already know this already, but most dust filters these days can be washed, even the magnetic ones. So really there's no excuse for letting that thick dust build up. Generally, a quick rinse under a tap will do the trick. However, if you're finding that the dust is caked on, then you can scrub them down with some hot water and an old sponge. Overall, it shouldn't take you more than a few minutes to keep those dust bunnies at bay, and it's a great and easy way to keep your PC dust free. Take care of your fans. If you thought all of the dust would stop at your dust filter, think again. Filters do an amazing job at keeping the majority of the dust out of your PC, but some ultimately will find its way into your precious fans, especially if you're running a negative or a high static pressure airflow setup. Some people like to use compressed air on fans, and as long as you use a trusted brand, that is overall pretty safe to do. But since that stuff scares me, I prefer to use a microfiber towel and a thin screwdriver to get into all the tight spots around the fan blades and the frame. Once again, another quick and easy way to keep your PC clean and happy. And shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. Calm your cables. You knew this was coming. You probably looked at the video trying to skip over this part, but it's time I put my foot down. It is down. It's time we manage those cables. Over time, we can add new accessories, more SSDs, and even upgrade our GPUs. And I'm willing to bet that, just like me, some of you ditch the cable management part and say, we'll do it later, but then later never really comes. Tackling the rat's nest is a great way to keep your system organized. This can make it easier to connect or disconnect peripherals and hardware, but will also help with airflow. A clear passage for air to travel through is far better than having it to traverse a tangled mess of cables. Both your system and your conscience will thank you. Thermal paste. It doesn't last forever. Depending on how long you've had your PC for, you may have noticed the performance of your favorite games on the decline. And that's probably because your CPU is throttling. This happens when the thermal compound you have on your CPU water block dries out. This is an easy fix and can often bring you right back to where your performance should be. To do this, just carefully remove your CPU cooler, lift the latch, and gently remove your CPU from its socket. Using a paper towel and a tiny amount of rubbing alcohol, wipe away the old compound. Seat your CPU again, apply that fresh new compound, reinstall your cooler, and off you go. Clean your desk. Yes, you heard that right. The last piece of the TLC puzzle belongs to giving your PC a much needed disk cleanup. Over time, your PC will cache data to your hard drives, and this is used for program installs, updates, and security purposes. While the files individually may be small, sometimes there can be hundreds of them, which all together can take up gigabytes of space. So hit that Windows key, search for disk cleanup, select whatever drive your Windows is installed to, and go to town cleaning up all that precious hard drive space. You may find your PC runs faster and you have tons more space now, just simply from doing that. So there you have it, five easy ways to give your PC some much needed tender love and care. Now, if there are any other suggestions you have and maintenance tips that you want to share with others, drop them in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give that bell a little ring so you can be updated every time we upload a new video. We do that every Tuesday and every second Friday. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. If you've got some spare time, there are two other videos you can watch. And I'll see you sometime in the future. Bye.